So Michael Palin, comedian, actor, writer, TV presenter, legend. Just telling it like it is. From Monty Python to A Fish Called Wanda, Time Bandits, uh, Vanity Fair, Ripping Yarns, you have delighted audiences worldwide as an actor and also as a presenter of some of the most riveting and insightful travel documentaries. And I was lucky enough to be in one of the plays you've written, The Weekend, many years ago in the West End. Uh, have you been doing much writing during lockdown? Well, I haven't been writing many more plays. I should have done, really. Yeah. Um, but I enjoyed, our, I enjoyed our experience. I think we had a very big theatre and we didn't manage to fill it every night. But uh, it, was, it was always fun to watch. And actually, the weekend uh, gets performed all over the country by repertories. I get quite a nice little modest income from that. So it's obviously oh. people love doing it and they all write back and say, oh, we do enjoy doing your play. Yeah. And in fact, there was plans recently to do the weekend as an opera. No. Uh, I know, exactly. That's what was my feeling entirely. So <laughs> we won't go into that, but it, it's not forgotten. And thank you for your lovely performance. Um, you know, well, I'm, I am writing, yes. I mean, that's one of the things about my life is that I, I go out a lot and then I stay in a lot. Mm. And at the moment I'm writing, uh, I've got another volume of diaries, which is supposed to be coming out. Um, in about, well, it's actually three years now, but it takes a lot of work. So I'm doing the editing while I'm laid up, as it were, or laid out, or locked down, or whatever it is. And I'm also <laughs> working on a, on a book, um, which is a sort of, um, it's, it's a family story that I'm just at the very start of beginning to explore, about my great uncle Harry, who died on the Somme. But anyway, we, we, we will see how those turn out. Apart from that, I'm just doing a lot of sitting around. <laughs> Have you been getting out for your daily daily constitutional with with uh, with your wife? Yeah. Yes, I'm very keen. I'm very keen on on um, on the daily constitutional. I used to run a lot, and then I had a heart um, operation last September uh, oh. to repair some valves in my heart. So I've not actually gone back to running. Um, yeah. But I do walk every day. I do a good long walk over Hampstead Heath. And then Helen and myself, my wife and I, we go out around the block slightly more decorously. <laughs> the old Darby and Joan <laughs> in the evening. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, listen, as you know, um, Sir Michael, this is um, Pearls of Wisdom. So I just yes. want to ask you if at any stage in your life, it might be something you've read, but it might be something that some, some great piece of advice that somebody has <laughs> given you that has helped you in your life. Well, it's, it's odd that you should to ask this because when I thought about it, I thought of lots of <clears throat> important things I've learned, read and been told. But the one that sticks with me, and actually sort of, in a way, it's been very useful and relevant, is um, it's something that used to hang in our lavatory at home in Sheffield on a, on a little sort of board on which were carved the words, do it and it's done. Which is obviously <laughs> a jokey thing, that's why my parents must have put it in the loo. But actually it's an enormously good bit of advice for life generally, because I think I, I and I suspect many other people are, are great prevaricators, you know, let's put something off, let's do it tomorrow. And honestly, prevarication never has never worked with me. It's much, much better on the day, face it, do it, oh, and you feel so pleased. And I've, yeah. I've felt this throughout life. I've, I don't sort of, I, mean, I don't sort of um, say I've been sort of true to that bit of advice throughout my life, but it's always there in the background. And I know that I will have a better day if I face up to something. And that's the other, the other wonderful quote, I think is, um, is Eleanor Roosevelt who said, you know, do something that scares you every day. Do one thing that scares you every day, which is a very scary thing, you know, what does she mean? But actually when it boils down to it, it's maybe just having some conversation or, or facing up to some decision, which may not be, groundbreaking but you know that you're you're actually trying to avoid it it's the same prevarication you're saying no i do, uh, i don't want to go there. i can't do that i honestly can't do it you can you yes. always can and that's really i found that with acting and things very i thought i can't do this i'll never learn all this i'll never be able to spend uh, you know uh 10 weeks going around the world trying to sort of um, make make 
films of the spontaneous script, but you can. Yes. And you feel again, enormously exhilarated and pleased with yourself if you've done a scary thing. Yes, it's like I, I'm a great list maker and I make lists ah. each day and ticking them off uh, is wonderful. But sometimes I think it's just simpler to, to do as it, the sign in your loo and just do it. Don't even write it on the list, just do it. Because some things are very yes. quick to do. And when, <laughs> when you do them, you think, why did I put this off for so long? Yes. Well, you've got to remember what it is you've got to do. That's the thing. <laughs> do it this time. What, what was I going to do? <laughs> now, I think list making comes into the whole sort of combination of sort of yeah. scary things. Yeah. Uh, not prevaricating. Yeah, oh. yeah. And I like the fact it was in your loo. We, we've got a sign upstairs in our loo and it's a little wooden sign, very old. And it says, um, smile or laugh and the world laughs with you, frown and you'll wrinkle your face. And it just, that just makes me smile, you know. Sometimes sayings in the loo, they go in sub, subliminally. I, I think that's true because if there's one room in the house which you're going to go into every day, sometimes four <laughs> or five times or whatever, and it's the loo and that, this thing must have every time I sat down on the loo I must have had this just in front of me I oh. never thought of it at the time I just thought funny why do they have that it's, it's not a really very good joke and I've got my <laughs> now but now I realize it was a very very important and useful piece of advice yes I think it's quite profound Michael thank you so much thank you for joining me it's been a complete delight talking to you and I'm very grateful <laughs>